Welcome back to another episode of the acclaimed series, Snow Blunt Talk. I got the natural light from the sun shining on my beautiful face. I got the mic going on, man. I'm telling y'all, man, season two is upgrade. And, hey, yo, shout out to, uh, um, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but Sonny the Poet in the comment section below. He told me, you know, I should experiment with this format a little more, you know, do this, you know, you know, laptop camera and then footage in the back. So I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? So thank you for that suggestion. I'm glad you think it's my niche. I'm glad you think it's something that worked for this channel. And if any of y'all got some suggest or even video topics to suggest, man, I'm open to everything. Go ahead. Leave your opinion in the comment section because where did that shit? This ain't about me. It's about us. Yeah, I don't know why I'm a crackhead either. Anyway. Time to jump into the topic of today's video. Why every religion is real. Get it? Because Israel. And then that's where a lot of religions were. Oh! Why every religion is real. Well, number one, we got to understand this idea of truth, right? Because every religion the whole idea is to find the truth about why we're here how we got here how we came into existence all that stuff now me personally i think truth is completely completely subjective i know people say this is the truth as way to say this is the objective way that things happened well if everything in life is based off perspective like i said in my video everything is perspective then everyone's truth there's no the truth. The truth cannot be objective. It has to be subjective. There is no one truth. Everybody has their own truth. Therefore, every religion has to be real. Because check this out. Everyone's truth is based on their experiences and what they think. So what? Because as humans, we have this thing I learned about in psychology back in high school where we have this thing about us where we purposefully seek out information that validates what we already think, and what we already believe based on our experiences. So it's like, for example, you could grow up under the poverty line. Your mama had to go and work two minimum wage jobs to feed you. So then now as an adult, you were Democrat because you believe that Americans, you know, generally need assistance because that's what you grew up with. But somebody who grew up and they folks ran a store and ran the money all the way up from the starter from the bottom, now they're there they're gonna think in a more conservative way because that's their truth that's the life they were raised with and no matter how hard you try you can never truly get anyone to see things from your perspective that's just impossible so people that are you know raised differently have different experiences they're gonna have different truths and that's kind of what makes the world so interesting you know and that's why we have all these different religions the reason why people do believe and gravitate to religions the way they do well one reason is that a lot of us had that shit impressed upon us at a very young age you know what i'm saying that's why i feel like we got so many you know born again christians or if you were raised in a muslim home born again born again religion because your first idea of spiritual saving was implanted on you through this lens like I have a huge chance of being a born again Christian. Why? Because the first idea of being saved spiritually and made whole spiritually was made clear to me through the idea of Jesus Christ and all of that. That's just what I was raised with. And as we all know, children have the most sponge like absorbent minds. So whatever is impressed on us from the very beginning of life, that's that's what we have a huge chance of going back to. Because you could do so much mental work and all that stuff. And at the end of the day, you're still going to have such. It's still going to be mad easy for you to revert to the old ways you thought and the ways that were impressed upon you as a kid. And when that is made true to you when you're a kid, not only does it influence the possibility of you returning to religion. It also early on gives you a lens through which to interpret the world, which makes you believe that religion even more like you could believe since you were taught about God early on. You believe, oh, God did this, God did that. And interpreting things that way is what I said earlier. It's seeking out that information that validates your worldview. So you purposefully go and perceive things through a certain lens because that's the lens you were brought up with. And that's the lens that's going to tell you, hey, this thing that you believe in, it's not a crapshoot. Nah, you should believe in it because look at this, right? 
even though the whole time that's just how you interpreted it okay and it's not just religion either it's also spiritual experiences like for example waking up seeing 333 444 555 i'm one of these people or one of the people that interprets that as a spiritual experience you know i think that's like the universe talking to me that's my prerogative that's how i interpret the world but I've seen some scientific ass explanations for that. Like, oh, as humans are. And I know I'm making a mocking voice because I, I guess I am biased, but it's it's a real, it's a valid way to see things. Like, as humans, you know, we are, our eye will more often gravitate to seeing the same number over and over again because I don't know, it's more satisfying. That's one way to perceive it. But I perceive it differently, and that validates my worldview. Like, you see how this shit works? You see how the way we were taught to view things ends up influencing what we think is the truth when the whole time we're just bigging up our truth because when you tell yourself something and you believe it to your core your mind is going to do everything it can to try and validate that belief so you're so you feel better about yourself your mind's whole objective is to make you feel better about yourself that's why when it's implanted with fear and everything from an early age, you feel better about yourself when you fit in with everybody. You feel better about yourself when you get like a little working wage job. You know what I'm saying? Don't take as many chances making your money because your mind is implanted with fear early on and doing these things to help you feel safe helps you feel better about yourself. But that's a whole nother different video that I'm pretty sure I've already made. So let's get back to the lecture at hand. So the difference of religion just depends on whatever impressed your mind first and also what resonates with you the most. Like I said, what you could have gone through in your life, maybe the Bible says a lot of shit that really resonates with you and really helps you and really makes you think that this is the answer. Maybe the Quran has that for you. Maybe what the Buddha said has that for you. It's all about what resonates with you. That's your truth. And that's really the only truth you have, what resonates with your heart and your soul, because Fuck what you've seen before and fuck what you thought. If it resonates with your heart and soul, that's way more important than just thinking, arriving at some logical conclusion that this is the right way to think. Nah, man, if your soul, if your soul cries out and says, yes, God. Hey, man, go ahead and follow that, you know, Judeo-Christian God. Go ahead and follow Yahweh. I fucks with Yahweh. But at the end of the day, I'm, and I'm saying this on a beautiful Sunday morning It's just the wasted years so close behind Sorry <laughs> Every religion is real because let me tell y'all let me put y'all on some game If something affects your whole entire reality how you think how you breathe how you move about your life Guess what nigga? It's completely real. It's not a question anymore. If you've molded your real reality experience around it you've made it real you've applied what is real to an idea and now that idea is engulfed in your world since your world is the only real thing here now it's real so to bring the whole video back full circle every religion is real because if you implant it in your mind you choose to really believe that to the core of your soul core of your soul Choreo so Why am I such a crackhead on a Sunday morning? If you really believe that religion to the core of your soul, guess what? It's real as hell. If you believe Jesus is coming back in like two years, because the world is fucked up right now, Jesus is coming back. If you believe that Allah saved you and rescued you with his beautiful words and you must submit to him, go ahead and believe that. And if you believe you stuck in an endless cycle of life and death and existence is suffering, which is personally what I believe, then go ahead and believe that and watch your whole reality make that real. That's the beauty of this human experience. We make things as real as they are. We picture things in our heads and then they come to fruition and we experience them with our senses which are very limited. Like what we see, this is just a little quick side note, what we see and experience in the world day to day is like a fraction of what's actually out there. But then again, that's a whole different video and that's also something I'm not very well versed on. I just believe that. And my whole reality is around that, so it's real to me. Whatever religion you truly believe in is real to you. You've just got to believe. And that's the Snowblunt Talk video for today. 
if y'all agree with my man Sonny the Poet and like this format of video, go ahead and leave a like and go ahead and leave a comment with what you think I should make a video on next. I love y'all. Be safe. I'm signing out.